world, Becca here from Inside the Square coming at you with another CSS tutorial. Today, I'd like to show you how to create a gradient page background. Gradients are definitely taking the design world by storm these days, and for good reason. I happen to think they look pretty cool. <laughs> so if that's the kind of thing that you're into, this is the tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to create a CSS code for a two color gradient, which is one to the other, a three color gradient, which has this line of color in the middle, and then your three different options for a vertical gradient, which means one color at the top and another color at the bottom, versus a diagonal gradient, which has the main color down here and then another color up on the top right, and a horizontal gradient, which goes from the left to the right. All right, let's get into it. So to adjust the CSS for your website, you need to go to Design and then Custom CSS. I'm going to start with the horizontal gradient. Now I'm using the Bedford theme family here. So my site background is called Site Wrapper. This is really important to point out because if you're using a different template uh, like Brine, for example, a template of the Brine family, this is called something different. So I've got both codes beneath the video. If the one with the little hashtag symbol and site wrapper doesn't work, try the other one, which is called main content. But in any case, if you're using a Bedford template, this is the one to go with right here. Now you'll see I have a background color at the beginning of the code. This is the color that will display if for some weird reason, the gradient doesn't load. So it's always good to put that in there, make sure it's one of your darkest colors. Um, definitely a good place to start. But for the background image, we have our linear gradient going from left to the right and our two color codes. I'd like this to be a little more colorful, so I'm gonna pop my brand colors in there. And there we go. We've got my cool little teal over to this peachy pink. And you'll see the gradient effect is created right there in the background of my page. Now all my content stays on top of this gradient background, including pictures. I love that shot from the photo shoot I did recently. I thought it was really fun, so I put it in there. Anyway, <laughs> let's say we want to make this a diagonal gradient. This part we're going to change where it says to right. We're going to replace that with to bottom right. And our computer is smart enough to know we mean start up here and take the color all the way to the bottom right. Now, if you've been paying attention, you'll probably realize we can just adjust this word right here to say left. And voila, we've got a color on the bottom left. Pretty cool, right? All right, let's say we want to go vertical. We just want a regular linear gradient. Then we just remove this text. I'm gonna take that away. And I've got one color at the top and one color at the bottom. So the top of my page is all the way up here and the bottom of my page is all the way down here. So most of the time, if you've got a lot of content on your page, I recommend using a linear gradient that just goes horizontally to the left or to the right, okay? That way you make sure the gradient still looks pretty darn good on there. Now let's say you want to do three colors instead of two, super easy. In this section of the code, we've got the color on the left here and it ends with the color on the right. If I put three hex colors in there, this color will be right in the middle. Following so far? Awesome, because that's the end of the tutorial. <laughs> All of these gradient codes for horizontal, diagonal, vertical, two color, and three color are underneath this video and also on my blog at insidethesquare.co. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have fun with your Squarespace website. Ready for more? Download my free guide to getting started with gradients. It includes CSS codes for 35 gorgeous color blends. Download it now at insidethesquare.co slash gradient.